Hello everybody, this is Apostle Simon Mukwena. There is season to die, there is season to be born. Yes, everything under the sun has got its own season. There is season for everything. You have your own season. You remember in the book of Luke chapter number 4 verse number 13, when Jesus was tempted, the devil left him for a season. Our lives are composed of different seasons. I love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you for allowing me in your space. I welcome you also on this powerful platform. I believe through tonight's show, your life will never be the same again. Surprise, surprise for you. I'm sharing this platform with a beautiful, powerful woman of God, anointed daughter of Zion. Hi, Tuso. Good evening, Apostle. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you are well on your side. I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm super elated. Why? Because the God that I serve, He's got the whole world in His hands. Thank you, Tuso, for allowing me to share this platform with you. I believe you have great stuff for all of us. Where in the world are you, Tuso? Yes, at the moment, I am in Bethlehem. Um, it's a small town in the Free State. Uh, when, when the president announced the national lockdown, I had brought my kids to the site to, to spend some time with, with Umkhonwa Bona and we got locked to the site. But I must say it's been such an amazing time, Apostle, because we haven't spent such a long time together in, 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 a, very, in a very long time. So it's, it's nice being home with my granny and yeah, um, getting all the wisdom from her. So yeah, I'm enjoying it very much. I can't wait for hearing what the Lord has laid in your heart tonight. What are you going to share with us tonight? This evening, Apostle, I'd, I'd like to talk about the importance of being still, especially in this time. Mm, I can't wait. Go for it. Go for it. Thank you very much, Apostle, for this opportunity. Thank you so much for allowing me to use this platform where I am now connecting with your prayer partners who are seeing me um, in their gadgets this evening. Uh, for those who, who do not know or who did not hear earlier, my name is Tuso Sibabole. I am from Peter Marysburg. I live in, uh, in Peter Marysburg, but originally I am from the Free State. Um, this evening, I would like to talk about the scriptural verse that comes from Psalm 46 verse 10. In this verse, God says, be still and know that I am God. I'm sure you've all heard about this scripture. Everyone knows this verse. It's a cliche verse. We grew up knowing this verse. It even has a many hymns about this verse. But do people really truly understand the depth of this verse? Do you understand the depth of this verse? Do you understand what this verse really means? What God is saying is that you need to be still. What does it mean to be still? What it means to be still is to remain calm and know that He is God. Now, when you are going through the storms of life, you need to be calm. You need to be still and know that God is God. Now, when you are still, it means you are one with God in your spirit. And when you are one with your spirit, it means you understand that you are not a physical being. You are a spiritual being. And when you are a spiritual being, you have peace in your heart because nothing that happens around you, nothing that happens in this world will move you. Now, what am I saying? You're probably sitting there thinking, what is she saying? What is, why, why is she on about regarding this peace? What is inner peace? You see, when you look at um, Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7, this says, do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, through thanksgiving, let your worries 
be known to God. Now this is where it comes, it becomes interesting. Let your worries be known to God. And the peace that surpasses all understanding will protect your mind and your heart. The peace that surpasses all understanding. I said, when you are one with your spirit, you have inner peace. You will be going through storms in life and you will not be moved. Your life will be falling apart. Everything around you will be tumbling down. Even when people see you, they will still see too soon. They see the loving Tuso. They see the smiling Tuso. They see the happy Tuso and they're wondering what is going on with Tuso. Now, when you are at peace and you are one with God and you live for the Spirit, you understand what God wants for your life. You hear God's voice. And when you hear God's voice, it means you are able to live a life that He is directing you to live. Now, when, when the devil comes or when, 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 when life happens like it does to all of us, when circumstances, when you go through a phase of fire in your life, you know that you serve a God that is meant to take things that were meant to break you and change them into a blessing because you know your God is for you and not against you. As he said that he will always be with you. Fear not for I am with you. So, in this time of coronavirus, people are anxious. People live in fear. People hate their lives right now. There are people who are not used to being in their houses. And now the government has told them that they are in lockdown. They, have, they are forced to live their lives in their homes. They are forced, the world as it is, is not what we know. The, the, you know, the world, the world that we are seeing now is not what we know. It's the life that we are seeing right now. The things that are happening in the world right now is not the things that we, we, we know them to be. And the, the, I mean, the, the markets have crashed. If, you know, everything, everything is all over the place. But people are, are, are in fear. But when you are still and you know that God is God, you will not be shaken. You will wash your hands. Yes, you will, you will keep social distancing. Yes, you will follow the protocols that the government has set for us. But you will not be shaken. You will not live in fear. Because you know that your God is with you. And you, you will use this time to be even closer to God. To, to nurture, to, to feed your spirit so that post-coronavirus, you are a, a, a force to be reckoned with. Now, you see, I, I, I follow my apostle who is my prophet. And he prophesied that after this time, post-coronavirus, the, 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 the relationships that were not strong will fall down. The churches that were not strong will crash. Now, the businesses that were not strong will no longer exist. But if you use this time to nurture your spirit and hear God's voice, which will direct you for where you are supposed to go in your life, your life post-corona will be one that you will marvel, even you yourself. Because the more you feed your spirit, the more you understand that the physical things don't matter. The physical life does not matter. So you have to be still. When you are still, you will not be anxious. There's no need for anxiety because our God tells us that we do not need to be anxious. Now, when you are going through those storms and people are wondering what is going on, why is Tuso not moved? It's because they do not understand because they are not one with their God. So they do not understand living a spiritual life. They do not understand that the circumstances that a person goes through does not define who you are. Your circumstances are meant to groom you and build you and shape you into what God wants you to be, not to move you. They are not meant to, 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 to break you. They are not meant to, to change who, to, who God wants Tuso to be. 
they are just meant to direct you into the position i mean direct you into the path that is meant for you now that's my god so i i am tonight this evening as as i'm talking to you i'm saying to everybody please prayer partners be still be still and know that he is god and you will not have a clinch of anxiety. You will see that you will have peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Apostle, for this opportunity. I hand over to you. Be still and know that I am God. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much, Austuso, for sharing with us such a powerful message. This message is going to resonate with us for a very, very long time. May the good Lord bless you, bless you. Family, I have come to the end of our show and I'm praying together with you. I'm believing God for peace, for calmness during this difficult time in your life. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I'm praying with you and I'm believing God for great things together with you. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. Shalom, peace, double for your troubles. Bye-bye. Do you know the importance of praying in the middle of the night? Do you know how much power lies in midnight prayer? Before you can utter a word to anyone, start your day by connecting with your creator. Meditate right in the middle of the night. Jesus, the son of God, went to a solitary place and prayed in the middle of the night. Paul and Silas prayed and praised God in the middle of the night. Let's pray and meditate together with Apostle Simon Mokwena at 12.45 a.m. and be blessed. There's power in midnight prayer.